Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, we are continuing to colonize the, well, beyond the Elgate. And beyond that, uh, we've got some other things. We've got an archaeological site going. we got tech constantly going. We defeated some pirates. It's a fun time. Technology yeah. discovered. Ooh. Zero point reactor. Now, this one said it's the mo there is no more efficient way to generate energy, which is awesome. What are we going for now? Um, let's go for a cheap one. Yeah, let's try and move it on. Well, let's go shield capacitor. Sure, that could be useful. Why not? We're also about to finish our create resort world one. Uh, repairs have been completed on the Quapra Spirits. Awesome. I guess they repair automatically when they dock at a starbase. Divine Mekonas order has closed their borders to us again. Okay. I think some of them only wanted a a open borders complete. so they could access this uh, new zone. At least that's my theory. Anyway, uh, please go and survey the next one over here. Yeah, so we're going to claim this one next, and that should give us a good way through. So we've created a complete line ac across this area. I don't know Technology where the other gate is. Discovered. I assume the other gate's up here. Uh, Resort Worlds has been complete. I don't know how we do that, but it's, it's now something that's done. Chemical Bliss. Deep, tish, uh, deep tissue implants, the latest innovation in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory, engineering, and entertainment experiences. Where we're going, we won't need skin to feel. Uh, no. Reverse engineer minor artifacts? Mm, okay, I don't really need that. Uh, deep crust uh, or dangerous wildlife. Let's go for deep crust engineering. Sure. Let's try that. Seems good to me. Uh, we are claiming this one, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, governor has gained a level. System surveyed, we already knew that. Okay, cool. Debris analyzed. Wonderful. So we get 10% auto cannons, 100 physics research, and 160 engineering research. Great. Uh, I'm going to need you to head back in here and to assist research on Earth again to push up our research times. Wonderful. Right, back over this way. Uh, so we still have science ships off surveying things. It's okay. Nothing we need to do there. This one is just about claimed. Construction complete. Uh, I'm just going to tell them to not build star bases. Uh, just tell them to build mining stations here. Wonderful. So they'll go off and do that. Um, we are about 10 months away from being able to get... Oh, this one's being claimed by someone else. Yeah, okay. Well, we can't get that one anymore. Let's survey over here. That one has been claimed by uh, the Coterie. So now it means we actually have a border. Does that mean they like us more? Or more willing to do stuff with us? Because they are friendly. They wouldn't accept an association offer, but we already have a commercial pact and things. I could offer them protectorate status. Um... Protectorates are guaranteed independence by their overlord, pay 80% less for any tech their overlord knows, and uh, turn into vassals once they reach 50% of their overlord's tech level. Hmm. They would accept this, but they're barbaric to spoil it. You know what? I am going to trade you for some favors. I'd like five favors. I'm going to give you some food. You probably use it. Yeah, that's quite a lot of food we're giving away for this, but it is extra land, so... Yeah, I'll give you 3,000 food for five favors. They should say yes. Wonderful. So, I would like to offer protectorate status. So we're going to protect them, and then eventually, they're going to become part of our, uh... Yeah, part of our... Well... Yeah, they become our vassal, I guess. Cool. That seems good. Let's see how they feel about that. An alien empire is making contact. Yeah, I know. Aha! Uh -huh. So, they are now underneath us. Uh, they pay 80% less for any tech they know, so pretty much every tech. And 50%, and once they reach 50% of our tech level, then they become our vassal. They're never going to reach that, but you know, this is okay. Wait, they automatically become part of our federation. That's amazing. They just get, um... Yeah, they get grandfathered in, or whatever, because we're in it, they get in it. 
That's awesome. So we now have another member of our of our uh, federation. That's a, that's a way to expand. Also, we're not worried about if they take our land because, I mean, it's our land. Anyway, it's, it's just I have to wait a little bit. That's amazing. Anyone else we can get in here? Like the Oaklar Kingdom, would you become our protectorate? They would accept it, yeah, okay. Let's form some packs. Let's get going. Yeah, let's wait for those through to come through. Wonderful. The next one? Yeah, so they've accepted both of these. It's obviously a huge benefit to them. But now we can, hopefully, we just need six of those. So if I offer a trade deal... I just go favors, and I want, like, six favors. How much food do you need? That's basically my question for any problem. How much food do you need? That's going to be quite a lot of food, but, you know. It's another... Yeah, it's another one who will come under our control. Well, join our federation, essentially. I Oh, maybe we can do this because we're in charge of the federation? Yeah, okay. That's cool. Technology discovered. Uh, shield capacitors. Wonderful. Uh, what are we going to go for next? Uh, guardian point defense? We could g uh, start investigating energy weapons. Improved reactor booster, black hole observatory. Let's go black hole observatory. Why not? Uh, none of those need us to do anything. Is this saying we have... We don't have housing for all of our pops. Well, I mean, it's impossible to get any because we're maxed out. So I think a pop just has to leave, essentially, is my answer to that pr problem, unfortunately. Um, unless we get any way to get more. Uh, they've accepted. Wonderful. So now I can do protectorate status? Yeah. Wait, how... Wait. Oh. Wait, no. I, I needed a little bit more opinion as well. Oops. Um, let's improve relations with... Yeah, you can head over and improve relations now. That's fine. I needed more favors, basically, is the answer. I, I missed... I, I thought each favor was, for some reason, I had in my head it was ten. But obviously it's five, so that doesn't work. But we're, we're close. We're close to getting another one underneath us. It's amazing. And it bypasses the will not associate ones, because... Yeah, it just bypasses them. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's, that's a really good way of doing things. Can we do that with these guys? We're almost there, actually. Yeah. Uh, improve relations will remove... Oh, you're already improving... We're already improving relations. Uh, in fact, we're already improving with the Oaklar Kingdom as well. Yeah, in fact, I'm already way ahead of myself. That's fine. We may focus on it at some point, but... Yeah, that's a new way to get people into our Technology federation. Discovered. Deep crust engineering done. Next one, um, paradise dome, housing and amenities, maybe habitability plus five percent across everything. Yeah, let's go with that. We got anything else we can remove? Nope. Apparently, none of our planets had that blocker, so that's fine. Uh, you still, yeah, you still off doing Technology it? Technology discovered. What we got? Star Fortress. Sounds cool, but most important thing is it's removed something from one of our lists. So an orbital habitat is a theoretical self-sustaining space station designed for permanent habitation. Oh, wait, does this, this means that we don't need, um, I guess this means that we don't actually need a, a planet to have people living on it, maybe? Hmm. Citadel. Citadel is the largest, most heavily fortified star base and can house four buildings and a full complement of six modules. I'm going to go for habitat. That sounds interesting. So we can colonize places that don't even make sense. If that makes sense. Like, we can just colonize a random place in here. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah. So we could have a ton of habitats everywhere. How is Mars looking? Mars is getting there. Mars is getting there. Okay. Sure. Uh, we'll move that one. Don't care about that one. Still need a little bit more influence. Uh, we could claim this one. That would make a lot of sense in terms of places to claim. Yeah, head down there. Go claim it. Uh, well, go move there and then we can claim it in a second. Oh. Survey complete. Nice. Uh, survey the next one. Yeah. 
So the next one must be where the other Elgate is, right? Ooh, we just got Everite refugees, and they've arrived in Ladin now. Ooh, wonderful. So that gives us an extra building. So we're missing some jobs for them, but that's okay. So I appear to be doing exotic gas refineries in this one, so that's okay. We'll do another one. Uh, and then maybe I'll do a... We have a lot of blockers we can clear here. I'll clear three blockers and do... I don't know, an agriculture district. That should work. Okay. We got some stuff going. It's okay. Uh, we can now actually change your job to go build a starbase. Wonderful. That works for me. You're still building your mining stations? Yup. Yeah, there's a few to do in there. That's okay. We're making so much money each month as well now. Wonderful. Uh, hey, um, how are you feeling about becoming my protectorate? You're feeling less into it now. But if we can get this up to the next level, you'd be feeling into it. Okay. Have I just got you at a neutral state? Yeah, it's not going up and it's not going down. I could move someone else to improve here. Or alternatively, I ditched that, move, move someone else to improve down here and then double improve at the other one. Yeah, so now I have two improving here. That should be going by a lot quicker, right? Technology discovered. That didn't move up as quickly as it did previously. Hmm, okay. Habitability's gone up by 5%. Wonderful. Next one. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do next. Maybe starbase capacity? We're already not hitting it, though. Military academy? This might be an upgrade to the soldiers, actually. Uh, yeah, it might be an upgrade to our um, to one of our buildings. That might be worth going for. Okay, we're about to finish our subspace sensors. Technology oh, discovered. Oh, look at that. We just finished our subspace sensors. Wormhole travel? Yeah, of course. What's the problem? We have a wormhole somewhere, don't we? Yeah, awesome. What I'd like is if you zoom out far enough, it would instead of showing your one, it would show the name of your federation across everything. Is there a way to do that? That'd be awesome if you can do that. We're in empire map mode. Can I go, if I go diplomatic? No, that's not really what I'm looking for. Federation map mode, neighbor map mode. Look, everyone here is my neighbor, including these guys somehow. How are they my neighbor? Wait a second. How are, do they have an L gate? Ah, oh, they have an L gate. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, does this L gate link to every other? Oh, I think I misunderstood. I think this L gate links to every other L gate. As in, it's not a, it's not so much that there are multiple L gates leading to this system, it's that this L gate links to that L gate, which then links to this L gate and that L gate. So this is why we now have a border with them. Awesome. Okay, cool. How are you feeling about me? They're getting, they're getting up there. This is going fast. Yeah, okay, so... Protectorate? We just need to get that to say 50. Construction we're good. complete. Uh, you built your star base. Oh, nice! Yes, perfect. Um, build mining stations. Followed by building research stations. Does that work? Yes, I think it does. Yeah, I think I just did it wrong. But yeah, now we got them going. Alien entity identified. A tubular alien entity has entered the orbit of Wolfie Doo with no warning or explanation. It appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, gliding in complete silence through the void of space, cylinders rotating ominously. Though it is not yet though it is yet to display any sign of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge our hails. Our military advisors warn that it may pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. I mean, I'm tempted by the 50 influence, but no, we will study it. Updated. So does that mean that I have to go and... St oh, I can just click here. Wonderful. That's amazing. Finishes in three months, then we click it and it goes to four months. Ah, uh, you know, typical uh, contractors, uh, you know, giving us an estimate and then it being completely wrong. Wait. Oh, we still haven't explored this one? Oh, I didn't even notice that one existed. By the way, I'm not serious about that. I'm just joking about things like government contracts and all that sort of thing. I'm not... 
happy. Anyway, you get the idea. I don't need to explain it too much. Right. Um, let's head through here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, hot shot as a, as a building. Hot shot, we're gonna get you. You need jobs, but you also have a lot of space for other things, so. Uh, I don't know what we're getting here. Maybe research labs? Maybe we can get some civilian industries? Maybe an mini administrative center would actually not be the worst thing in the world right now. And then maybe I'll get you another... Uh, you know what? Let's let's maybe go mining district for once. Sure, we'll get your mining district. We're probably going to run out of jobs there soon, but that's okay. Have we succeeded on uh, our energy? Yeah, we've succeeded on energy infrastructure. Definitely. Right. Cool. Just wanted to check that. How are we doing on our next tradition? 51 months. Okay. That's fine. Assuming that our leader doesn't die. But that doesn't speed up by too much. Complete. Cool. We finished here. So we now have two lots of nanites coming in, which is wonderful. Still building here. Special project complete. Uh, the enigmatic cache. Despite extensive research, the enigmatic cache and its origins are still shrouded in mystery. Though it's definitely not organic in nature, it's not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with the gathering, storing, and encoding of data. Its surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. And then we finished this one and we got military academy done. Oh wait, no, this is a building on the um, on the starbase. Never mind, I completely missed what that was, but that's okay. We still needed to do it at some point. Fortress is the upgrade. Okay, cool. Uh, Off-world trading company? Uh, I don't know if we need that. Heritage site. Again, that is that's another upgrade. We go fortress. Use volatile moats as, for upkeep, but we have a relatively okay supply. That would give us extra naval capacity, maybe. Hmm, potentially, yeah. Let's get global defense grid. That's okay. By potentially, I don't mean potentially it would give us extra naval capacity, because it would. What I mean is potentially it will uh, do what we want. Anyway, uh, we now have collective waste management in here, which is awesome. Collective waste management is... Um, we get extra diplomatic weight. Worker, worker pop resource output goes up. Alloys from jobs and minerals from jobs went up. Minus habitability, but we just fixed that for ourselves. It means we're going to get more alloys, which isn't important. We're going to get more minerals, also isn't important. The main one is that our weight is now even higher. So we've got 6.5 diplomatic weight. United Sathrathi is actually second. That's amazing. They have a huge fleet as well. Oh, wow. So the top two are United Federation of Planets. That's amazing. Next one, I'm opposing, which is the Pan-Galactic Recycling Initiative. Yeah, it's going to be a problem for us. What have we got down here? There's a couple of new ones. Repeal minor administrative sanctions. Oppose. Uh, repeal research sanctions. Oppose. Repeal economic sanctions. Oppose. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. We got a couple of opposings in there. Maybe we don't need an envoy here. The envoy does give us an extra 10%, but like, is it really necessary? You could argue. I would love if this went up next instead, though. Yeah, the cooperative research channels for more research station output. That would be insane for us, because we have so many research stations. Oh, it would be, be absolutely insane. Hey, do you want to be um, our protectorate? You would, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll trade deal for the rest of your favors. And in, I will give you food. Lots of food. Food is our main thing that we trade, but everybody needs it. It's always in demand. Wait. One. Oh, we got an archaeological site, but beyond that, we also have protectorate status. Wonderful. We'll just do that. Uh, okay. The Sentinels did it. Something has gotten into the archaeologists. The excavation thus far has been impeded by a freak accident, injury, and misfortune, and now even senior researchers with decades of field experience are blaming the Sentinels. Overcome with superstition and paranoia, they claim the statues move about when no one is watching, yet there is nothing to suggest their jointless limbs are even capable of motion. Matter spun further out of control when traces of biomatter indicative of heavy bleeding was found lodged within a series of tiny cuts on the terminal portions of a sentinel. Whether sentinels are just a convenient scapegoat or there is a more sinister explanation remains to be seen. Worrying times for the Von Braun. Okay. And... Oh! Look at that! We got another one in here. Low 
Federation cohesion. That's not too bad, right? We maybe need to assign another envoy here. Uh, we'll move the one from the galactic community. Yeah, so we're now fixing our cohesion problem. We've got too many people in, basically. But look at this. We now have a federation of six. That's amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, all of us have some weird ethics. Yeah, opposing ethics within the federation have, to, uh, have negative impact. So our egalitarianism is... Oh, these are all opposing. Egalitarian ones. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's just because... Yeah, okay. It doesn't, it's because we have some materialists, so these are just opposing in general. You're materialist, materialist and egalitarian. You have an opposing one within your own thing, I think, right? Or is it... Anyway. No, I see it's authoritarian and... Yeah, okay. And then spiritualist and materialist. Never mind. So we got some problems, but we're, we can fix it. We're, we're, um, we're assigning a few envoys, and once these guys start assigning envoys, we'll be good. Now the Commonwealth, we definitely want to start improving relations. So I'm going to send you over from the Oaklar. I'm also going to send you from the Oaklar. And then I'm just going to double check with the Oaklar here. Uh, I don't want to kick Confederation. Oh, okay. There's nothing else I can do. I can't integrate them unless they've been for ours for a while. But yeah, we can potentially get the Commonwealth as well underneath us. That'd be awesome. Because that would basically fix our problem at the top there. And it should mean that the Vran Unity stop rivaling them. You would hope, right? Uh, we still need to claim another around here. So I guess, yeah, head up here. Yeah, just move. That's fine. Right. Uh, carry on. So are we actually improving relations now with them? Are we maxed? Our improved relations are maxed. Oh, okay. We're allied to rivals. And that's the main reason they won't accept it. We are completely as maxed as we can be. We can't offer protectorate without getting that tiny little extra. Can we get some opinion if I offer like a ridiculous trade deal? So we're at 57. I'm just going to like offer you... I don't know. Let's go for 3,000 food. I'm just going to give you 3,000 food. Let's see what they say. I mean, they say yes, obviously. A fine gift human, you have our thanks. Okay. So how do they feel about us now? So that just went up, apparently. But how do they feel about the protectorate thing? So they're not they're not feeling it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that didn't actually push it up at all, or Favorable trade deal pushed it up by 45, but not by enough. Okay. What if I make a ridiculous trade deal? I'm just going to give them, like, I don't know. How do I push this up by 10,000? <laughs> just for my own experimentation, I'm going to give them, like, the most ridiculous trade deal. Right? I'm going to give them 10,000 food. It's a huge trade deal. Right? Confirm. Okay. So they obviously like us more. Okay, so you can get max of 100 from trade deals. Okay. That max is there at 100. And then they are still feeling minus 57 because they would need to be at the next stage. They'd need to be at the we absolutely 100% love you stage. Yeah. Yeah, they would have to be at the love you stage for us to be able to do that. Hmm. And there's no way of getting any more, I think. We're already about as close as we can be. I think if there's anything else we could even do. We can offer to pay them tribute? No. Okay, because they have a friendly attitude, they would never accept that. Hmm. Demand tribute? No. Offer protect trip. See, ne neither of those are even close. And they're not going to do that because their empire population is too hot. I guess relative power is going to change over time, maybe, which might sway them, but... I guess we could build more ships. That would sway it. That would definitely sway it. Okay, well, we lost some food for that, but I'm okay with the uh, experiment. How Technology do we, we get more things? I'm just thinking... I guess we could just try and 
Yeah, just keep going. Wormhole travel is now done. Awesome. Uh, and the other one uh, is habitats. Oh, okay. I can figure out what habitats are then at some point. Uh, planet build speed, 50%. Empire sprawl from districts, minus 10. That's actually huge. That's, that's a big one. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, minus 10%. Tachyon sensors. Increases our sensor range even further. Okay, let's get tachyon sensors. Sure. Now, wormhole travel. Do we have a wormhole? I'm sure we have a wormhole somewhere. Uh, that's still being done. That is an L gate. We might not have a wormhole. Uh, I guess that shows what type of world you got here. Oh, we still have Cybrex Alpha as well at some point, which we can't do anything with because we don't have uh, mega engineering. But we're getting there. Um, yeah, I don't think we have a wormhole. But we can now travel through them if we did. Uh, I'm trying to see if there are any wormholes. I don't even know what the symbol for a wormhole is. I don't even know how we travel through it. L gate. L gate. They have multiple L gates. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, also, now that we have these guys, did they. Is that a wormhole? That's a gateway. Not a wor <laughs> Of course, it's a gateway. Not an L gate or a wormhole. Um, I just realized something, though. Uh, we now have. In here. Alien specimen procurement. There was one of these which is possible now, isn't there? If I go track all a map and then zoom out, can I see where they are? I thought there was one over here. Ah, there's one over here. Ah, but do we have open borders with you? That's the next question. Uh, do we have open borders with you? Are, are we able to go into your territory? Let's see. If I find uh, this ship here, which is do well, I need to find someone who's doing nothing. You're doing nothing, so you're you're good for testing. Oh, you you have a route there. Fantastic. No, uh, cancel. But good to know. Stay where you are. Um, but that is fantastic to know. Okay, so once we finish surveying, we can send that ship off to do that stuff. Awesome. Construction complete. Ooh, we finished that construction. Now we've got the next site thing pending. Science officer Nush uh, Kokon, uh, Kokonji has gone missing. She was last seen leaving the camp at sunset to find a tranquil spot to consider the sentinels. In the days leading up to her disappearance, she raised concerns about safety at camp following a growing number of accidents, and we fear she may have abandoned her mission in protest. Oh, it's a bad one. Okay, well... Yeah, so that was basically a reset one. That's fine. Okay, fine. Anything else going on? Not really. This one, we're about to finish fortresses, which is awesome. Yeah, we can still see the ones that are flashing here. Uh, it'd be nice if it didn't show ones you've already completed, but hey, what can you do about it? Um, we almost have enough influence for the next one up here, which would be cool. Yeah. Technology discovered. Ooh, we've got global defense grid. Okay, cool. Uh, next thing that we need, food from jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love food from jobs. So we can upgrade these now, actually. Uh, there, well, there's all sorts we can upgrade on here. What's the upgrade of that? Yeah, it uses crystals. What's our crystal situation like? We're getting eight. Don't want to upgrade crystals? Increases our job number here. We're running out of housing, actually. Yeah, we don't have enough housing anymore for the people who are actually here. That's a problem. I could turn this into housing. Yeah, let's replace that with luxury housing. Or luxury residences, yeah. That would give us a little bit extra housing. And then maybe I'm going to upgrade one of their research, research labs. Yeah, let's upgrade a research lab as well. Cool. Just thinking about what to upgrade. That makes sense. Yeah, get a little bit more research. We're, ooh, Empire Sprawl is now even. That's because we finished the administrative sensor. However, that does mean our tech's going to be a little pointless that we're getting. But, you know, we are expanding all the time. Canvism has finished their thing here. Could we get them underneath us? They would be interesting, because I don't think they're in a federation, are they? 
Where's their... Yeah, there's their capital. They make them... If I offered... Oh, I could offer them protectorate with, like, no effort whatsoever. Oh, let's offer a trade deal. Uh, I need two favors. How much food does that? Uh, yeah, there we go. Well, there you go. That's not even that much. Wonderful. So what are they? They are a uh, gestalt consciousness. Hmm. Okay, protectorate. Confirm. We've acquired them. Oh, we're losing Federation XP. Uh, that's because the Canvism are not yet uh, contributing. But it's also because our cohesion is low. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll keep... Uh, I think maybe we that's the last one for just now. But look at that. That's wonderful. We got another one in here. Yeah, I'm happy that we got so many in. That, that, that's my goal, is to get a lot of people in. United Sathrathi, you see this power flying up here. That's amazing. They used to be so weak and pathetic, and they have now supremely got powerful. I guess that's because they've expanded all the way over here, but still. I love it. Yeah, it's Survey good. Complete. Them getting powerful is good for everyone, right? That's the way I wanted things to be. Oh, I don't want you to have automatic exploration on. No, 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 no. What I want you to do now is I want you to head here and research projects. Can I then shift research? Yeah, then... Does that work? No. Yes, it does. Look at that. It does indeed work. I mean, it's going to take a long time, but that will get us where we need to go. Also, is that a wormhole? No, it's an Elgate. So how, could, how did we... Oh, so we head in here, then we head back to the L gate, then we head back through and then jump to this one. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. So we now have them going off and doing what they need to be doing. Um, we definitely need to get our cohesion up a little bit, but that's okay. Cohesion is growing, and now they are contributing, I believe. Yeah, so we just need to wait for that to grow. Okay, cool. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.